In previous videos, you've seen how to use Kibo's repeat block and also Kibo's if block. In this video, I'll be showing you one way you can use the two types of blocks together. In the last video, we showed you the if block and how your robot only checks at one moment in time, that exact moment, whether the condition is true. But what if you want your robot to continually check whether or not that statement is true? Well, that's where the repeat block comes in. So I've created a sample program here and you can see I have an if loop inside of my repeat loop. And it's really important to point out that these are like parentheses or sandwiches inside of one another. So the if and the end if is inside my repeat and my end repeat sandwich. So first, let's look at the if loop. I've said if near the end if. So in this moment, our robot will check, am I near? And if I am near, I'll be. So this if loop is inside of our bigger repeat loop. So let's take a look at that repeat loop. I've said to repeat forever our if statement, shake, end repeat, and end. So what does this mean for our robot? Our robot will start running and it'll check, am I near? And if I'm near, I'm gonna beep. Otherwise, I'm just gonna shake. But because I have our repeat forever here, after it shakes, it's gonna go back and check again, am I near, am I near? And it will continuously do this forever until you stop the program on your robot. So I just scanned this program onto my robot so we can run it and see what happens. So it's just shaking because I'm not putting anything in front of the distance sensor, but I can always put my hand in front of the distance sensor if I want it to be. And it will continuously check whether or not I'm near. And any time it senses that it's near, it will be. And that's it. So this is a pretty complex concept for young children. And you'll probably only want to introduce this after children have individually mastered the repeat blocks and the if blocks. Once children begin exploring, it's a great time to give them ample free time to explore all the different ways that repeats and ifs can be nested with one another.